Hey folks, what do you say we dive back into some more sunken land? That's pretty much where we left off last episode. Um, what do we have in the way of supplies right now? Let's, we're at noon, so we're gonna, we've got time to go do some more exploring. So let's expand this guy a little bit. Um, tab, build, foundation. Much further back to go. We'll see. I want to go out like so. What have I got left? 44 of those. And I'm kind of thinking I want to stair step this down. The problem is, there's no way to dial this up and down. The vertical doesn't have any adjustment. I can rotate, which is what? Roll the mouse wheel? Yeah. So I can rotate an item even when it's clicked into place. But I can't get it to go downhill. Oh, there's our rotation until I think that's square yeah once it touches it goes back up now I could leave a little gap in fact that's closer than I thought I could even get it interesting is that enough though to do any good we could do a short little ladder I suppose to go up and down what I'm thinking about is the staircase is quite big ah uh, this guy so he needs to be yeah, right where I can't see it. <laughs> Maybe if I get sideways and then rotate it. I wonder if that will help. But I can't get it to obey very well. It doesn't snap to. So the staircase is one of the newest additions to the game. So it's not... They're still working on it, let's put it that way. I think it's meant to be put onto a foundation. So it, it drops onto there perfectly. So I need to have a there in just the right spot down here. What is that noise? Whoa, I am being attacked. Whoa, listen to these guys. Yeah. So these are the mutants from the other island who decided to uh, come over and do some, some uh, housewarming welcoming. And, oh, he got me. There we go. Okay. Wow. Didn't plan on starting the episode that way. Let's just see what we've got here to loot. He's got some water, a mushroom, and a cloth. A piece of cloth. These are the lowest level enemies, so there's not going to be much there. F and E. Got one more guy back over here. Now, must have run into right here. Okay. F and E. Strawberries and bird meat up there and you can shoot the birds and they will drop and turn into meat which you can use in some recipes in a higher level uh, cooking stove than than this but yeah that was unexpected and they're already despawned all the other ones are just this guy left so they don't stay on the map very long they don't uh, you don't have corpses lying around wherever you go thankfully but yeah they came by to say hi. They didn't even bring any, you know, casserole or anything. Man. <laughs> um, I'm so flustered. I don't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> Let me collect some of these guys while I collect my thoughts. Um, stairs. That's what it was. Yeah, I kept hearing this bum, 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 marching kind of noise. I thought, what is that noise? So now you know what a mutant attack looks like. After that, there will be you now the rest of the of the enemies are a little more militant. A little, they've got various degrees of armor that they're wearing. These guys, I don't know what the backstory of the game is. Some kind of cataclysm that has uh, flooded the whole earth, and so. But for there to be mutants, it must have been I don't know if it was nuclear, or just what it was, but. They don't really go into the background of the game in that way yet. But anyway, I want to step down and do a lower level um, part of the base down there. And doing so is not easy. It's going to require some trial and error. So let's do a little of that and see what we come up with. From what I can tell, since I can't snap two, I need to figure out how to get from down there to up here. I need to know what that level is to make the staircase look good. So, and I can't be down there to guess it, and from down there I can't see what I'm doing. 
So at this point, that part of the game is not very well done. So we're still we're still working on that. But with that down there, what do we have? Can I do something along these lines? Although from the grade, I can see right now the floor is going to go under the dirt at this point if I stick to this level. But at this level, what do the stairs look like? Are the, is this a, a functional distance or or what? From up here, the problem is I can't look up. I'm going to look up to get that in my view. Can I shrink down? See, I don't know if I'm touching up there. Build. Ooh, not bad. Now, yeah, what's it look like up there? That's doable. I can live with that. But boy, I wasn't even close to centered. I can double the staircase, although it's not truly necessary, but I could, you know, do something like this. Where's my where am I gonna drop? And you know, make that work, but no, I think that's fine. So let's pop back into here, build, and I could then put in another foundation there and there and where am I at? Twelve left. I think I'm gonna wait. I only have twelve metal left. But we can have a, a two-layer uh, base, do some things down there, maybe what the things we would do when we first come off the boat, whatever that is, drop off the air tanks, refill them, drop off, you know, grab, grab a meal, um, put the, the advanced water filter down here, pumping directly out of the ocean, and then come up here, and maybe up here is the workbenches and the, the gun smith bench and the ammo bench and everything we need to to function in this crazy world where mutants attack you and it is already 4 p.m um let's just quickly go and let's see grab something to eat uh we'll grab a pudding cup and just to top things off on each of those sure drop you guys in here all the food like things Water will be food-like. That's to sell, so food's up there. Um, worms over here. Let's go until dark and very quickly go and loot some stuff. So, boat is where? Boat's out here right now. Alright, let's get going. Um, we cleared most of that out. We've been to the trader. So, what's off this direction? We know we can't go to the uh, mansion unless we want to attack a shark, and we could do that. I've got a crossbow now, so and I've got a slightly better uh, spear, so both are possible. Kind of looking down through the water there. We're coming up on... Actually, now we're coming up on what I thought I was at yesterday. Th these are the apartment complexes. Apartments, yeah. So this is a good find right here. There's a lot to loot down here. Let's slow down, hit C to break free from the boat. Double checking. Only marlins. Nothing's going to swim up and bite us. And man, that shark will bite you. <laughs> and let's dive in and just play with the first floor here, for the, the top floor for a little bit. Cloth, scrap, and two, three. I got to use that. Three is my axe. Oxygen is running low. Jump up, get some air. See if we can fill our, our backpack at least once before uh, before it gets dark. And I'd like to do this in some kind of order. I'll never remember which floors I've done. And it's always best to uh, save the lower floors on this one for when you're able to swim faster. So if you came here right at the beginning of the game... Oh good, this medicine cabinet actually has something. Okay, right at the beginning when you first started, you'd have a, you know, without making the flippers first, you'd have a really hard time getting all the way down there, doing anything before it's time to come all the way back up again. But in this case, the flippers that we do have are, are decent. So we're going to get some action out of it. Um, just noticing these guys here. Grab that. You find enough of those, which give you a big boost to your health and your energy, to be able to not worry about sleeping every single night to get your energy up. So they do, they do happen on a regular enough basis that you can maybe sleep every third night. 
Let's see, this is a safe. Let's swing around here so we can see it. So this you can build yourself eventually. It's a higher level of your research bench, but it's got a, a, a real high hit point value. We've got a broken Mauser pistol, a broken tactical vest. So, and then some things to sell. We got some blueprints too. Let's grab all of that and head up top. Yeah, talk about that where we can breathe. <laughs> okay, wallpaper, so we can paint the walls of our of our base eventually. Right click and this will learn it. And this is an ore detector that you can build. Put a battery in it so we eventually get a blueprint for a battery. We can buy a battery down there at the trader. Um, and be able to, it'll, it'll let us know where ore is as far as uh, iron or copper or sulfur I want to say is also detected by it. Well that floor is done. Talking and not thinking here. Here we go. Um, and then the broken pistol and the broken armor. That's how the game deals with weapons and armor. You'll get a workbench. that You'll be able to build a workbench and then you'll take the armor or the pistol carcass, we'll say, the broken remnants of it, and then take a bunch of random gun parts and try to rebuild it. And eventually you'll create a weapon that you can use that way. So it's not just finding them. I thought the floor above is where I just was. I'm only going to do one more, then we're going to get back. Oh, this guy's usually good for blueprints. Take whatever's in there. Inventory is full. What did I leave? Um, what can I... I can drop you real quick. I can grab... Nope. Alright, we'll just have to come back. Boat is yellow. There you are. Let's drop off something. Go grab that real quick. We're about to get real cold here, so let's do this quickly, but uh, well, I wish they would put the change color in a different place. That's kind of annoying. Let's just drop off you guys real quick and dive back down. I want to say it was this one. Yeah, grab that. And this floor is done. Spin around. I have a little bit of room, though we're getting quite low. Let's do the top floor of this real fast on our way back out. Anything in there? Yeah, grab you. Maybe I can get that refrigerator. I think they're pretty quick. Yeah, E and go. All right, boats over there. So eventually we will collect a whole bunch of, uh, we'll say partial weapons and armors. And we will be able to choose from those to build our own. There's home. As well, we could sell the uh, the parts we don't use to the trader, though they're not worth very much. They're worth a whole lot more if you go to the trouble to build them and then sell the, the built, you know, the recreated weapons or armor to the trader. Okay, I'm going to be on this side this time. Got to figure out where's a good place to park the boat, though I have a feeling it's going to be like right out here. You know, back up further out over here because the base is going to be out in the water a little bit up there and up there maybe two floors up there and maybe a way to get up onto the rock over there I think that would be wise we'll set you here for now spin you around while I have some momentum there we go so I can get to that later let's get warmed up but they will attack you probably more so well they will attack your base too but if they have the option to attack your base or to attack you, they'll go after you. So if you are somewhere else, then they're going to be here doing less damage to the base. I don't think those guys attacked anything but me. They may have banged on this a little bit. So that's worth checking out just to show you how that part works. I have a space available. Tools? What gets me this guy? I need a rope and five wood, ten wood. So a rope is over here. I just need one. And I have wood in here? I do. Let's just top that off. I need a space left. And let's get the torch out so we can see what I'm doing. And let's quickly make a repair hammer. Right. Oh, I took the place of the rope. Okay. We'll set you in, say, where the axe is. Now, three. Oh, I'm going to lose my light no matter what. But three... You now can see the rating of the of each individual piece if there was a problem. I think these are worth like 
I'm going to guess 2,000 hit points. So if there was a problem, it would say 1,953 out of 2,000. Then you would hit it, and it would build it back up again. So kind of a real simplistic way of, of repair, as well as your items or your, your equipment. That can all be damaged as well. So after a, a real battle, where you've got a dozen guys with rifles swimming to you from whatever island they're from, so I'm guessing that these mutants came at us from here. So if I had been looking, and maybe I'll go back when editing and point out there in the water if I see some heads bobbing, they probably would have been swimming across, then they attacked. They came in from this side. We're out over here, right? Yeah. So they came in from there, which I think they did. There's, there's their island right there. Do I have in this one? I don't. We can find... Um, binoculars and they actually work kind of fun <clears throat> put them on and it'll double the size over there you can watch them walking around on their island kind of, kind of cool but what do we need to do through the night we're at 10 30 i need to stay warm we have enough energy to get into another day that one coca-cola ought to finish that off so let's let's empty this out a little bit now antibiotics Kind of the same concept as the herbal medicines, but on steroids. These guys will, I think they'll fill an entire bar. I don't, know, I don't know if I've ever taken them and been down low enough to test that, but they definitely fill a large portion of this bar. Though, like these guys, they don't max it out instantly. They just return the capacity up to the, to the end, and then you've got to wait for the actual red to slowly work its way in. It'll be like a dull red there. So that's something that you'll want to keep on your person as you get into later game and get a lot of people with guns trying to uh, take you out. So this guy uh, will be able to build this decorative chair later. Probably take wood and and cotton and and uh, leather or something like that. So we'll be able to build that later. Blueprints are slowly starting to fill in. These top rows are going to be full of tools and everything else is going to be furnishings and decor. Um, let's continue dumping some things off. Lung function booster. Don't use these very often, but we could take it tomorrow just to uh, show how it works. This guy is a tool we can drop off in there. And I may as well put this tool back on me. I know we got to fill those back up again. Um, this guy, red sofa chair, is actually what it is. So it's not the blueprint, it's the real thing. So we could take that and set it out here and start decorating our our uh, base with it and all the different furnishings we can that we can put in here. There's there's um, oh, I don't have any examples of them right now. Uh, neon signs, you know, Route 66 kind of a thing that you pop up on the wall and they actually light up. So the decorating is kind of fun in this game. And you can use the this guy the. Where have I got it now? Didn't I make it last time? Maybe I didn't. Um, no, I don't think I did. So packing box. Let's just pop that in there real quick. Toss you in where the bucket is. And three. We could then walk over to this guy. Right click. And we can pick it up. It warns you that objects inside will be destroyed. But they've actually fixed that. They now leave a sack full of your items that were in it. So if you were to go and move this box right here it would leave all the items in a, in a bag put the box down grab the items and put them back in there but that puts it back into your inventory which probably is best right now i don't really have a use for that but let's grab this let's put you away right there and let's make a couple more chests temporarily just to give us a place to put things while we continue to collect until we get enough things collected that we can uh, actually start doing something with them. These things are fully stackable. They, you know, they can, they, they don't get in each other's way. It's like I said, you can toss them in and around things. I'm out of wood now, but they can be, you know, sitting with, with table legs through them and they'll still work. So you get a lot of flexibility there to combine things in a way that makes them look interesting. Maybe you want to custom create something out of two objects and still have the objects be functional. Let's toss in here... How about things like what we want to sell as well as, you know, 
things that we're not actually building with. I'm full, okay. So in here, um, so you guys will be functional for later. And these guys, actually there's a oil painting, so furnishings put you in the middle. Well, I may actually use those, this guy too. Sell these. Uh, Mr. Ducky, you got to decide what we're going to do with you. <laughs> uh, what I dropped there? High-end something. Watch. Um, everything else here. Here. This is food. So these guys are for sale. So you guys can all hang around here. Medicines. These guys would normally be stored in here, but I'll leave them. Let's get to the bandages in here. We also pulled a bandage off of a zombie. And keep you down in this area. And high energy drink. So there's 50 energy as compared to the soda, which is 20 energy. So that right there will, I don't know what a bar is, but 50 is probably a lot more than that space. So we'll hang on to that one. You in here. So duct tape, components, stack all of these guys above. Middle one, things to sell. And we'll sell you guys as well. And back down there, cloth, bucket we'll use right now, food we will be using, but let's get some more cooking done. Let's eat you, and not carrying any, ah, let's grab all of these guys and all of these guys. Okay, do some cooking, and more wood, we're going to collect lots and lots of wood, so go ahead and fill this guy up, and fill this guy up. Be careful when there's food on top ready to be picked up. If you hit the C, right now it adds wood, but then it eats. So it's, it's kind of frustrating to use the same two you know, C and F for just about everything. So you really got to be aware of what is on your screen at the moment when you are clicking that C or F. That's pretty pivotal. Okay, where am I at here? Um, I was filling up those. And these guys, the white lines are kind of a new bug that's in the game. They haven't gotten rid of them yet. Rid of them yet. Um, but they do not need to be refueled, thankfully. So we don't need to worry about that. So that means I can put these away. And I'm waiting for this to get done so I can quickly eat that. There we go. So C, toss another one in, grab a drink, and let's go fill up this guy. Over here, kind of some maintenance chores. That didn't work, did it? No, oh, meant to go there. Three. There we go. Alright. Toss you in here. And let's go back to those apartments real quick and make good use of that. We aren't done yet. I want to top off one. Actually, let's just do this. Toss you guys all in there and eat a couple of strawberries. Toss the seeds in there. Eventually we'll do something with those seeds, but right now strawberries are pretty abundant. Even if just on our own island, they, they pop in pretty quickly. We'll find them on other islands as well. Um, we could also go and raid those guys to get them to stop attacking us by just taking them out. Eventually we're going to want to go through and wipe out five islands full of mutants. So that is a thing, but I think right now let's concentrate on getting more of, where's the boat? More inventory of, of uh, raw materials in so we can do more things. But chest, let's grab, keep you there. And we'll find arrows on, or crossbow bolts on some of the enemies, which will fill us up so we don't have to keep making them. You two go in here, and I need another Coke. All right, so grab one of you, uh, split. I'll keep the one, and can I get you from here? Yes. Sell you guys. We have two watches now to sell. Nothing that we really need to buy at the moment, though. But let's go back to the... Come on, turn. To the apartments. Let's see. We're... That was over there. Okay. Uh, let's try... My finger's on the right keys. There we go. Well, you get over by one key, one space, and it gets a little crazy. Um, that boat-like structure over there is more mutants. We can take a peek over there and take a look at them. Yeah, this guy just kind of wanders back and forth as, as, you, as you paddle. 
can't quite see ahead and see that steering wheel, but I'm doing a lot of auto-correcting trying to keep them, uh, keep it straight, but there's another settlement of the mutants, and every time you notice the screen starts to gray out, it's me forgetting that I'm still holding my left shift button there. Yep, mutants, mutant raft. So some of these mutants have got crossbow bolts. He's got a crossbow, see that? Yeah, he shot at me. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're all excited over there now. <laughs> They'll be coming to say hi to us soon, too. <laughs> but in the next episode or two, we'll go mutant hunting and wipe them out. Okay, so where are the apartments from here? That is... What was that? Like something just hit my screen and I didn't see it. Here's the apartments. So what was that? Unknown ruins. Oh, right there. Drowned downtown we also saw. So I can zoom in. As well as the mutant raft. Okay, so we're starting to discover what's around us. But the apartment's over here. <clears throat> Let's try the um, that oxygen extender tablet pack. See how that works. So I do have that on me, right? Yeah. So lung function booster increases diving time temporarily. So you got to watch over here. When that disappears, you got to get out of the habit of staying down there so long. And you, in fact, let's, before I do that, let's get you up there. Uh, you go down here. So you're my number two. I don't have the pick yet. And I don't really need this, so I'll toss that up in there. Should have left that behind. I'll start carrying that with me later in the game. So drink you or eat you and jump off. All right, so we should see that auction go down at a much slower pace now. And you are an axe. So there are a lot of items down below that give you wood as well as the trees on your island. But I think there's a lot more items that give you... Hello, there we go. That give you scrap iron, scrap metal. That's why I found it's better to build your base out of scrap metal. Eventually you'll be building it out of iron that you'll smelt from ore. That'll be a whole lot stronger. Metal is stronger than wood, so there is that too. Uh, oxygen is getting there, but it's going down real slow, so I think I can get away with this. I think. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I'm going to get used to being in there that long, and all of a sudden I'm not going to realize that the pill is worn off, and <laughs> I'm going to be surprised. All right. Shirt. What's that shirt look like? Hey, that looks pretty good. I'll take you. Thanks. I uh, cannot use underwater. Nope, don't want you. I want you. Um, you are a dresser. Might be clothes in here, too. Nope. Chair. I feel like I was in the middle of a sentence when I saw that shirt, but I'm trying to pull that thought back, and it's not coming. Oh, well. There we go. And swinging the axe also uses up your stamina. So it'll get to where your axe won't even swing eventually. Oh, I think I was talking about ore. Let's see here. Um, e. Yep, grab that. So eventually we will be mining ore with a pickaxe. You get iron and copper and the more advanced level items we build with those as well as um, better building materials for your base. So it'll be a much stronger iron or steel in a sense than the scrap metal. So the hit points will be a lot higher. Grab some more air, go down one more. Hope so. I could go and dump off with the boat, but that takes away time from the diving pills. So let's just keep going as long as we can. What are you? Couch? So some couches are made out of cloth, which I think that one was, and some are made out of leather. There is a early... Um, oh! See, like that. I didn't even realize that my oxygen tablet had run out. Um, so there is an early armor that's made out of leather we could use. I tend to go straight to metal. Um, actually, I don't probably want to be down here this low anymore, because 
takes so long to get down and get back up, but yeah, I guess I can do. I can handle it. We'll get a few things out of this before I have to go get more air. Anything down here? Let's grab some rubber while we're here. And we'll dive back up. Okay. Go to the boat. I think we're getting pretty full. Three and enough. All right, got seeds. Yeah, we'll keep them. Right now, we'll just toss everything because we've got space. Later, I only toss in what I know is a full stack. But we're not finding that much loot at this time. All right, so, oh, did not see you out here. Good. So I think we've done most of, although I just saw something in there. No, most of these. Uh, these are important. They give you electronics or circuit boards, which are more of a high-level item for... Uh, uh, oh, oxygen. Go, go, go. There we go. Yeah, talking and narrating and playing. I've been the last few weeks just playing this on my own, and I never run out of oxygen, but I do when I get distracted by trying to talk about something. Yeah, <laughs> it's your guys' fault. <laughs> All right, since we're down here, what's in this area? You are usually good for blueprints, but I'll take whatever's in there. And I think by one-third air, I've got to be out of here. Uh, one-quarter air. Okay, so one-quarter long to get back out of this depth, this, this particular location. Good to know. Um, drop you guys off, I think. Okay, you're a new item. Will you fit? What doesn't fit drops as a box floating around in the water. So kind of be aware of that. Drop you into... Let's see, what... I can take more of that and more of that. Okay, what fell? Two things fell. There you are. You already floated away. Thought I heard something else. Oh well, that'll do. Back in. What's a little further away? Hit you. So go to the one quarter mark. So as we get further away from our island, we'll find different kinds of things to scavenge. <clears throat> like the green down there that gives you electronics. A lot more of those will be available in places that are further away. Uh, big job box like tool uh, boxes that are full of, of uh, more high-end pieces in much further away locations. I uh, think I can pull this off and still get up. Oh, I hit the F and I didn't realize it wasn't working. Okay, let's get out of here. So it only works if it's already on your screen, otherwise the game ignores it. What have we got here? What's this? I've got a truck out here. These process very slowly, unfortunately. So actually he's not as bad. The the overturn semi truck is especially slow and there's a big old tractor like that guy. There's a big old tractor that really takes a long time to process too. But let's... And we'll grab him. If there's any time left, we'll get the uh, the red seaweed over there. Real slow. And there's a lot there. So it takes a long time. Okay. I think I can dive down here. Grab you. And you. Yeah, I think I can pull this off. Okay. Hold the left shift button down. Swing faster and faster. <laughs> Okay, where are we at? Halfway. Chair. Three. Bang away at that. Now, do you have anything besides wood? Oh, out of stamina. Okay, nope. Just that. And bang on you for a little bit. Uh, one third air left. Out of stamina. And giving up. Because I don't have the stamina to swim faster to get back up there. That was this one, right? 
yeah let's go down and there finish that off would also help to have my energy bar a little higher didn't sleep last night and we're feeling the effect of it okay I was working on this one right yeah so this is a leather couch there's leather and these take at least eight hits and I'm out of stamina and I'm out of room out of air okay what are we at now we have a few more spaces let's go get the rest of that couch okay and anything right below us got a junk pile over here and E I'm gonna lose something instant ramen let's eat this guy and grab that ramen okay got time for you I think I do do I have room for you um not really I'll just yeah I don't so a boat is up here let's bring the boat over here so if I jump in it is a turn to the right go why am I not going forward something went wrong there jump into that seat jump into that seat Maybe I was going forward, but the waves coming at me made it look like I wasn't. I don't know. Ever been on the... Hello. Ever been on the beach and walking with waves coming in at you, walking through the edges of the waves, but it felt like you were actually going sideways when you're really going straight? Or is that just me? <laughs> I'm looking to see what I can toss over into that side. Um... Boy, these guys, cloth, only one, okay, foods, no, I can, no, that's about it, I think we're about done space-wise, let's go and grab maybe just those foods and call it done, was that this one, that was this one, so we'll grab you, and grab you, and yeah, we'll call this finished, so let's go back see what, we, what trouble we can get into uh, back at the base. Attacks usually don't come in back to back. So we'll have two or three days before we have to worry about that again. Where's home? Over there. So that green marker does stand out quite a bit as far as uh, figuring out where home is. Let's Let's see. We got quite a bit of iron. So let's build the base out a little bit more. Maybe put some walls in. Yeah, I've got to figure out just where to park this boat. I'm thinking right about here for now. And let's build a foundation out here. Hmm. Come on, move over there. You're not gonna let me. Okay, we'll do this and this. Okay, so width wise, what do you got here? Twenty nine. Need to move the boat. And let's spin around. We'll do something like. Come on, keep turning. This guy doesn't turn very well unless you are powering it by pedaling. Uh, see, the motorboat, you can just sit there and spin circles, spin donuts. But build you and you. Okay. That gets a sense of where we're going with this. We'll fill in all of these eventually. We'll go probably two wider all the way through so we can have a deck around the outside. And then probably four wide interior. So it allows us to put things around the outside, maybe something through the middle, plus a staircase in the middle to get us back up from level to level. Another ladder or staircase here to go up one more level. And eventually up onto there, I'm thinking, we can do most of our battles from up there, so they will come to us over here and attack us, instead of trying to destroy the base to get in 
to us, you know, inside the base. A lot less repairs to do if you if you fight them that way. Anyway, let's think about dropping off materials. Let's see, rubber. Right there. No, we're at three rubber already. We're going to be at a lot more cloth, too. So you don't go in this one. You guys are not actually building materials. So let's go to the third one for you. Uh, tools and supplies like that. Um, let's see, tools are kind of going up there, I'm sure. These guys here. Circuit boards are a higher level thing. So, yeah, I think you're probably up in here as well. Something that we won't be using that much of right now. But drop you guys off foods and seeds. These guys, we can make another one of those. I like that idea. Craft. Give me the ability to quickly heal in battle. Just in case we get we finally get to the point where I get surprised. Which eventually will happen. Alright, well that's that's a mess still, storage wise, but it uh I gotta find a way to mark these stairs. From this point I can't tell where I'm stepping off. <laughs> but eventually we will uh, get storage organized a little better. I could take all. Nope, I can't. Well, that wasn't part of the plan. I changed the color of the boat again. Yeah, I wish that was up here. It's too close to the storage. I want to put you two back. Okay, so with that, let those guys land. There was an issue with losing them in your boat at one point. Ah, there we go. You and... Nope. And... You. There we go. Let's go put those away and think about things. Foods. Worms and seeds. Pills. Medicines. Uh, energy drink. Let's go for one of those. Look at how much of that energy just came back. So, wish I'd thought of that while I was out there. I would have had more stamina. Um, otherwise, you go in there and things to sell. Let's get rid of you guys. Though, I think I'd like to keep you and put you in the base. That lamp will probably actually work. Um, but you're to sell. You, a horse statue. Don't know how big that is, whether it's life size or not. Um, I think at this point it might be more valuable as a barter item and what do you think so this one or this one this makes more sense out here with with uh, mutants coming at me trying to hit me with spears yeah I think so so you are going to be sold and building material wise you guys all go in there let's resort some things you can go down below, you can go there, you can drop into there, kind of keep them near each other. Glass will be down here. Okay, so that gets us by for now. And you were up above. Alright, so six of those already. Okay, so what happens around here next? Let me think about that. We could... Yeah, I need more... What do we have in the way of steel? Or iron or scrap metal? We have quite a bit. Grab those. Don't need anything else for building. Building a base. Um, do I want to start focusing down here instead? Probably do. Move the grill down here. Water down here. Easier to fill the... Uh, the water, if I can stand right here, fill the bucket, and then just put it right in and do this sort of thing. That makes sense. So let's add some more flooring. Build you. So Actually, I've got to find the advanced uh, blueprint. That lets me build advanced uh, building materials. That's when you would use the uh, the iron ingots to build those. I was going to show you the difference. 2,500, I think the other ones are 4,000. And they, they look a whole lot better than this stuff, too. They're not rusted. But for now, this is what we're building with. So you guys. And, yeah, I can't go under there because of the dirt, unfortunately. 
So we're just going to have a little bit of dirt in our base. <laughs> so how far this way are we going? Like so, which means we're going out this way more. Let's get up here. We're getting nighttime soon. Do I want to build onto this rock or not? Um... Once we're down there, I don't have to worry about trying to jump up here. We'll actually enter the base from below and walk up the staircase. So the need to continue doing this won't be there. So I could build out onto this. I could. I'm trying to get an initial footprint figured out so I can start planning future. Do I go that far or do I go further? All the way back into here. Do we eventually get to ground level? We don't. Though we might get close right in this area. Uh, 60 available. If I go as far as here. I think not. Because, it, because of this. It might be nice to get these guys going. Wall spikes. And actually build one. They mount to the uprights under the foundation build defenses wall spikes so they go here right better to show you down here um up here there we go so if they come in and attack us and right there they will come up against these spikes and they'll actually be injured by them because they're going to want to come up and start banging on on the base right here and try to destroy your your base so they'll come into these guys and be injured by it and to have that access here rather than flush into the rock i think would be advantageous so bill just throw another one of you in just to remind me of what i'm doing you and you and then we will have probably at this point a wall and I like the window walls. I want to be able to walk around and shoot out of any window. Though that does make what's on the other side of it vulnerable to their crossbow bolts or bullets coming through your window and breaking these things. But they do have a closable window cover that you can then open up or close. Kind of cool. So, they have done a lot of thinking in this game. They, they still got a long way to go, but there's a lot here. There really is. So, kind of get the sense of what we're looking at as far as a, uh, uh, as far as an architecture point of view. I'm trying to remember what game. Um, Mountain Core. Yeah, Mountain Core we've played recently. That every so many spaces you've got to have a pillar or you will cave in. So, in this case, build, we need to have a metal column every two spaces. So, metal column will support a roof. I see I'm getting cold, so let me stand over here. Support a roof one space out in each direction. So, if you were to put one, let's see, I'll say there and there. You could then put a metal roof or... In our case, it'll be another floor right here, metal floor above, and that'll be the floor for the, the floor above. And even throw one out over here like an eave. Though, if you don't put them out over here, there is a, like a log drop. I don't think it's available yet. I think it's in level number two. Yeah, so when we do this to advance it, then we'll be able to get access to something that two posts that go up and a ways above you know, in, into the second floor it would be you know about the height of the floor to the window higher than that wall be a log up here with barbed wire all around it and it'll drop onto any enemies walking around in this outer porch out here so one more level of defense to keep your your base safe so best to keep any eaves or overhangs at second floor level in order to be able to take advantage of those other pieces. But you get a sense of what we're starting to look like here. We probably want a back door up here at this level somewhere. Um, I wonder if I can build stairs that drop down into the dirt. Huh. 
Let's go one more level deep. We're running out of metal, so I can't do it now. One more level or floor this way, and then drop a staircase down. So there's actually two more. Yeah. So this room will be one, two, three, four wide. I'll put another foundation out here. Give us four spaces inside to do things. Gives us a walkway over here. Something in here. Something at its back. Another walkway. And then something along the wall over here. So four wide seems to be a minimum for me to do something functional. And which means I'll probably need a four wide in this direction too. So I need to build two more that way. One more, put wall up, and then one more as an outdoor porch. Then we'll see if we can get these stairs. I don't think I have enough metal to build a stair to even try it, do I? Uh, come on, the scroll doesn't work too well on these guys with the mouse wheel. We still have enough, okay. Can I drop you down? I can't. So I can't get this stair to drop down into the ground, so the upper half connects up there and gives me a stairs down. I can, though, go in with a ladder to accomplish that. It will stick to the bottom of the floor. So we can get up into the building this way. Though, it's kind of awkward, but we've proven we can we can jump up onto it. So we could go that route as well. Uh, torches do run out. And I see this one is about to. Um, let's take that away. A little bit left. There eventually is a recycler. And the recycler you drop old pieces into and it will give you back your building materials. So if we don't let this completely destroy, we can have everything back. Tools. Let's make another torch real quick. Don't really need to use the torches. It's only aesthetics. So it'd be nice for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So video-wise, it, it looks better. Put you back in there. Put you in here. Put you into tools to deal with later. All right, where are we at now? We are at two in the morning. At nighttime, the timer does go a lot faster. That's kind of new. Actually, to me, it's kind of frustrating because I used to get a lot done at night. Now I'm noticing night doesn't last very long. They're doing it so you can spend most of your time during the daytime, but I usually take good advantage of, of the nighttime. Um, so where are we at here? We need to add... Ah, we don't really need to. Let's get another drink of water. Let's do a little more cooking while we're here. Um, do some of the, some of you guys. So eat that. Actually, I just grabbed it. Eat it. And we'll cook that. So eventually we're going to have a lot of items like this that we can be doing things with. So I'll spend night later game adding ore to smelters couple of those side by side so walk over drop in or take out metal drop in take out and swing over drop another scallop on here get it cooking go over to the electric table saw and start cutting some more fine uh, timbers or, or planks out of that there will be a lot of, of things that you get your hands on to make them work just like work the cooking right here so it gets quite uh, entailed later on as far as grinding out some higher level um, items to build things with. Right now it's still pretty basic. I'm just kind of waiting for oh, at least 5 a.m. to get here to take off to the next thing. Next thing would be what? We're at we're at 50 some minutes right now. Hmm. We could go take out a base real quick. We could do something like that. Though there may not be time to loot at all. We'll see. Um, let's eat that one. So see and do that and let's eat oh I think strawberries would work well kind of fills up the both these bars simultaneously yeah drop the seeds in there we're eventually gonna get more seeds and we know what to do with um, toss all of you guys back you're in there building materials boom 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 and look at how we've emptied most of that by building all this um, We've got food and water down there. We don't have any armor to speak of, so I don't need that in there. We do have medicines, as far as this guy, and bandages. And I've got plenty of bolts. It'd be nice to have the ability to make another round if I needed to. So we'll keep that one stack. It's only two iron to make a bolt. Uh, a batch of ten bolts. Let's go play with a 
and attack. Back up, spin, and up, oh, spin a little more. This guy's really slow. You can see we're going at about 50 kilometers an hour there. The speedboat goes up to 150. Hold the shift down though, we do get up to around 70, 75. But it still feels slow once you're used to using the, the higher end boats like I have been. So it kind of feels strange dropping back down to starting over again. These guys, let's do an early morning attack and clear out some of the local mutants so they'll stop attacking us. Uh, did bring everything? I did. So, these guys actually isn't... It doesn't feel very fair going at them with a crossbow and they're just going to be hitting us with spears. There is arrow drop or bullet drop in this game. So... When you, if you go to shoot, it'll actually hit down a little bit further. You have to be aware of that. You're coming to me. Okay, we'll do that. Take you out. A couple of these ought to do it. You can still steer your boat while you are up here aiming, as long as you don't hit the C button to pull out of the boat. Um, no one else is coming this way. Let's go do this more hand-to-hand. -hand. Um, C drops us out. Grab you. Let's grab the loot here. F nothing on you okay and that body will despawn soon there will be somebody with a crossbow here soon you've got a shield crossbow I think is that guy no he doesn't anybody coming at me that I'm not noticing no I thought somebody in here was advanced enough to have a crossbow maybe I'm wrong so these guys will probably just melee Oh, you've got some skills, dude. Okay, come on in the water. Water seems to be the best place to attack them. They've got less advantage there. Okay, you're down. And then everything on their island here will be able to loot. Any more coming in me? At me? Okay, you are. There we go, another one down. Am I getting into a corner here? No. Okay, you guys come at me. I don't know if you can use your shield as much while you're swimming. That's why it's a little easier to do this in the water. And it doesn't feel as gory in the water, too. The waves are kind of hiding things. Alright, almost done here. Got you. Don't know what their story is, what the lore is behind why there's mutants on what seems to be just a regular Earth. Meaning, this isn't like a foreign planet or anything. Hit map. If it's not red anymore, then you've taken them all out. Now we have looted 0% of this. So trading uh, trading posts, we've looted 80% of that. Um, the apartments, we've looted 41%. So it gives you a sense of where you're at. We went to the... Why am I not seeing? The Unknown Ruins. We've only done half of that. Okay. Let's go grab all of the loot here. These guys will despawn even if you don't loot them. So you only have a certain amount of time to, to deal with that before, uh, before that happens. And I did notice they've actually put clothes on these guys. When the game first started, they were uh, pretty much naked. So they've got... We'll, we'll call them swimming suits. Yeah. Anyway, that is number two. So I think I've looted them all. I've got one, two. Yeah, they're already starting to disappear. Yeah, I think we're good there. All right, so let's grab what we can out of this place and we'll call this episode done. This base is no longer a threat. I don't know what the advantage is to place in your marker on other places. Advantage and or disadvantage. RimWorld, the more you own, the more advanced you are, the more value your settlement is, the more intense the attacks are. So does claiming this add to your personal value? I don't know. And is that an issue? I don't know. I haven't been spending a lot of time on the Discord of this game like I did Mountain Core. Mountain Core, I was in there and... and uh, pretty much kept up with everything that was going on and this game I've just I popped in said hi and kind of that was it 
so I don't know a lot of what's going on in the background. I've actually taken a little bit of damage, so let's... If I hit five, we'll eat one of those... Those, uh, what's herbal? What do we call these things? Herbal medicines. You see what I mean? Dark red there. It's what I have potential to get to, but I'm still going to take some time to get there. So if you're in a real battle and, you know, getting close to dying, you would want to take that herbal medicine and then you'd want to uh, get out of there for a while and let things heal. I skipped this one because there's a lot in those and I don't want to wipe out all my space just yet. Three spaces. Let's send you over and right click and study you or know you right there. Now do be aware there are duplicates. So unless you know you start seeing something I, I thought I've seen that before, you might. So don't necessarily blindly do this for everything. It's something that you'd be able to sell if you uh, if if you didn't need it so you just be wasting it I think I'm getting close to finishing here was there a way to get into here with the boat I think there is I think it's wide enough I think I did that once and it just barely fit kind of scraped as it went in come on turn 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 oh this is slow okay turn back okay back up turn there we go yeah it's not worth it it's just not worth it <laughs> oh I miss my motorboat okay um we've used we've broken down a little bit of an armor rating kind of clipped off things where we got poked let's eat one of you and one of you top everything off and then let's just start tossing Back into here. You're a full stack. You're a full stack. You're almost. You're a one-off item. Um, mushroom bird soup. This gives you a. Sp oh, I'm. That's right. My boat's tr starting to rotate. It does that with the waves. You got to be aware of that when you park. I'm gonna get back out of here. You park on that ramp that goes up to the uh, uh, the trader. You pull in head first, and by the time you walk out, it has turned itself around and it's ready to leave. Kind of convenient, but. It, uh, anyway, this does something. It lets you swim underwater longer. There's, there's benefits to the actual meals that you can make. So it gives you a reason to go to the trouble of, of making the meals. Um, there's one of them that gives you 50% more of your health hit points there. Or at least the, the capacity for 50% more. You've still got to use the healing, uh, paste here, whatever it was called, to, to fill it up. Um, let's see. Let's go back. I guess we can handle this guy now. There wasn't, there's not a lot of loot in this base. That's why it's a good one to kind of finish off an episode. We did finish that one. Okay, so running around here. Let's verify this top level is all done. Looks to be. Let's go off this side. And if there's a few things down under the water at this base... Alright, grab some rubber out of here. Scrap out of this one. There's more rubber over there. Three tires means you haven't done it yet. Two tires. Whoa, there's a hole. Two tires means it's been done, but it will regenerate. I think the next time that... Well, I'll take it back. They did just institute a um, respawning of, of materials. So every ten days one-tenth will return or something like that so they're still working on figuring out how to respawn trying to figure out how to get around everybody looting everything but one thing and leaving it so it will it will uh, reload when they when they turn the game back on so trying to give some natural respawn which I guess would be like simulating maybe you missed something but at the moment this shows that we are 95% done we missed something I think it has to do with the with that guy over there staying and the tires staying to respawn something later so we'll call that 100% done and it isn't critical that you get 100% I see some videos 
playing the game where they are just obsessed with getting 100% of everything. And they spend 20 minutes searching for that last box wherever it was that they missed. And ah, There is so many locations in this game. You, There's more loot out there than you're ever going to be able to build with. Or that I'm ever going to be able to build with. I'm not building a nine-story skyscraper on my island. <laughs> Let's zip across here, and I'll probably call this one done. We're we're over an hour now, so I'll unload the inventory off screen and get ready for the next episode. Castaway Island. We are the Sunken Lander. Aha. So we'll pull off over here and spin around, though I have a feeling the waves will probably do it for us. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if that happens. Anything really quickly to loot? I got room? I got room. Let's clean up the island real quick, and we'll call this done. Anything over here? I saw something on the ground there. There. We got both of the, of the boxes here. Yeah, we did. Got more of them over there. Looking for strawberries. Usually either strawberries or mushrooms somewhere. I miss one? Yeah, something lit up on my peripheral vision there. A couple over there. Uh, another crab over there. You. Melee weapon. Boom. Take you. Eventually, a crab, a fish fillet, and a scallop will be the recipe for the meal that gives you 50% more of your... Uh, uh, hit points before you go into a battle, so that'll be there'll be a reason to save those crabs soon. But for now, I'm gonna call this one done. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you next time. Bye now.